वेलकम टू इंट्रोडक्शन टू मार्केटिंग असेंशियल्स वी हैव कवर्ड द फर्स्ट थ्री पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस कोर्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द पार्ट फोर दैट इज सेटिस्फाइंग मार्केटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन दिस पार्ट फोर इज अबाउट डेवलपिंग न्यू प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज एंड दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस मॉड्यूल सो वी विल रिकग्नाइज द वेरियस टर्म्स दैट पर्टेन टू प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज देन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट product levels representing customer value hierarchy so we will talk about this customer value hierarchy and then we will identify the ways in which consumers and business products and services can be classified so these are the important three important things that we will talk about in this module now to begin with this marketing planning begins with formulating an offering to meet target customers needs and want so this is the very important thing that this marketing planning what does this marketing planning do it it is about formulating an offering how so that it meets the target customers wants and needs now new products are at the core of an offering so these new products they are the core of this offering and crucial for delivering customer value earning profits and enhancing shareholder wealth so all these things can be had if we make an offering that will meet target customers needs and want and this offering is to be based on a new product so life of an organization depends on how it conceives produces and markets new products so when we talk of new products when we are saying new products it will cover the these three things broadly that is goods services and ideas as globalization pressures drive increasing competition innovation success is even more important so globalization is there everywhere and because of this the competition has increased and now how to deal with competition so innovation success uh, has become more important uh, in this 21st century so success of an organization in this 21st century depends on innovation developing and launching new products and providing customers with new and improved product choices as we will see in case of apple incorporated whether developed internally whether these products are developed internally acquired from someone else or generated from an strategic alliance successful new products beat competitors and drive growth so that is the idea of having new products because in this in this era of globalization and competition it is the new product that will sail the company through uh, through the competition now let us look at how apple has become a new product innovation machine since its foundation in 1976 apple has developed itself from a mere computer manufacturer to a successful all rounder it has conceived produced and marketed some of the world's most creative and innovative products apple inc's innovation revolutionized six industries personal computers animated movies music phones tablet computing and digital publishing now one such innovation was the introduction of i cloud so in addition to all other innovations let us for the time being talk about i cloud because many consumers now use multiple devices that is the smartphone like iphones and pcs like mac and tablet devices like ipads and all of them need a way to share the music photos videos files and various other apps that reside on any one device so there may be different apps residing on different devices that a uh, uh, a consumer may have but with the introduction of i cloud consumers won't have to worry about syncing their devices any longer to transfer their data so it is not that uh, there are only two apps on on one device another two uh, two apps on another device so as soon as they connect to uh, they connect, the consumer connect to i cloud all of them will sync and every device will have all the apps now let us look at what are products and services so many people think a product is tangible 
but technically a product is anything that can be offered to a market so product is anything that can be offered to a market it may not necessarily be tangible for doing what to satisfy a want or need including physical goods services experiences events persons places properties organizations information and idea so these are all the things that can be provided to a target market either in isolation or in combination to satisfy their wants and needs so a product is a good service or idea consisting of a bundle of tangible and intangible attributes or features so this when we when we say good services idea they are a bundle of both the tangible and intangible attributes it is not either tangible or intangible but a bundle of a tangible and intangible attributes or features that satisfy consumer needs and is received in exchange for money or something else of value now what are products and services now let us look at goods services or ideas a good has tangible attributes and intangible attributes so a good has two kind of attributes tangible and intangible now what are tangible attributes tangible attributes are those that a consumer five senses can perceive for example apple's ipad can be touched and its features can be seen and heard so these are the tangible attribute now a good may also have some intangible attributes consisting of its delivery or warranties and embody more abstract concepts such as becoming healthier or wealthier now a good can have or a, go a good can have tangible and intangible attributes that is one another uh, categorization is that this goods ca can be divided into non durable goods and durable goods so on the one hand every good will have tangible and intangible attribute and on the other hand goods can be non durable and durable a non durable good is an item consumed in one or a few uses such as food products and fuel while a durable good is one that usually lasts over many years such as appliances like your refrigerators and washing machines cars and mobile phones now this classification method also provides direction for marketing actions for example non durable non durable goods rely heavily on consumer advertising because they have limited shelf life because they survive only few uses so that is why they rely heavily on consumer advertising while costly durable goods generally emphasize personal selling now let us look at what are services services are intangible activities or benefits these are intangible activities or benefits that an organization provides to satisfy consumer needs in exchange for money or something else of value services are intangible inseparable variable and perishable products so these are the uh, four things that are there in services that normally requires more quality control supplier credibility and adaptability for example that includes haircuts legal advices and appliance repairs services have become a significant part of indian economy exceeding 40% of its gross domestic product that is gdp finally in marketing an idea is a thought that leads to a product or action such as a concept for a new invention or getting people out to vote now through our, throughout our discussion products generally include not only physical goods but services and ideas also 
when product is used in its narrower meaning of goods it should be clear from the example or the sentence so now let us look at the uh, product level the various products level from the perspective of the customer value hierarchy in planning its market offerings so and offering is anything that is tangible and intangible that can be offered to the target segments for, uh, for satisfying their needs and wants so in planning its market offering a uh, marketers need to address five product levels so that we will see in 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 one of the upcoming slides that is figure 19.1 now these the five levels are the core benefit the basic product expected product augmented product and the potential product so these are the five products product levels these are the five product levels each level adds more customer value and together the five constitute a customer value hierarchy so these are various levels starting from core benefits and going up to potential product and this is called as a customer value hierarchy at each level some kind of value customer value is uh, being added the fundamental level is the core benefit the service or benefit the customer is really buying for example a hotel guest is buying rest and sleep the purchaser of a drill machine is buying holes so marketers must see themselves as benefit providers at the next the second level the marketers must turn the core benefit into some basic products thus a hotel room includes a bed a bathroom a towel desk dresser and a closet at the third level the marketers prepare an expected product a set of attributes and conditions buyer normally expects when they purchase this product so in the case of hotel guest they minimally expect a clean bed fresh towels working lamps and a relative degree of quiet quiet or quietness so that they can easily sleep at the next that is the fourth level the marketers prepare an augmented product that exceeds customer expectations so at this level we are talking of customer expectations at the next level now the marketers prepares uh, prepare an augmented product that exceeds customer expectations so in developed countries brand positioning and competition take place at this level in developing and emerging markets such as india and brazil competition takes place mostly at the expected product level at the fifth level stands the potential product which encompasses all the possible augmentation and transformation the product or offering might undergo in the future here companies search for new ways to satisfy customers and distinguish their offerings differentiation arises and competition increasingly occurs on the basis of product augmentation each augmentation adds cost however an augmented benefits soon become expected benefits and necessary point of parity in this category now these are the five levels that we were talking about that is the core benefit then company makes a basic product then someone comes up with an expected product augmented product and the potential product so these are the five levels of a customer value hierarchy another classification of product is that there are two broad categories of product widely used in marketing relate to the type of user who is using this product so according to this there are two categories the first is consumer product and the second is the business products now let us look at what are the, these different types of products so consumer products are products purchased by the ultimate consumer who is buying it to consume what are business products they are also called as b2b products or industrial products these are products organizations buy that assist in providing other products for resale so here the idea is to resale here the idea is to consume but some products can be considered 
both consumer and business items. For example, an Apple iMac computer can be sold to consumers for personal use or to business firms for office use. So, it is not that only consumers will buy it or only businesses will buy it, both, the, both of them can buy it. Each classification results in different marketing actions. As a consumer product, the iMac would be sold through Apple's retail stores or directly from its website. But as a business product, an Apple salesman, a salesperson might contact a firm's purchasing department directly and offer discounts for multiple purchases. So now this is this tells us how selling in both these cases is different from each other. And now let us look at how to classify consumer products. So there are four types of consumer products. One is convenience product. Second is the shopping products, followed by speciality products and unsought products. So these are the four category of consumer products. Now, they differ in terms of these four types of consumer products, they differ in terms of one is the efforts the consumer spends on making this purchase decision, the second is the attributes used in making the purchase decision and the third is the frequency of this purchase. Now, let us look at each one of them in, in some detail. Convenience products are items that the consumer purchase frequently, conveniently and with a minimum of shopping efforts. For example, all of us keep on buying uh, soaps and newspapers etc. So, convenience product can be further classified as staples, impulse or emergency. So, these it will have three more categorization, staples, impulse and emergency. Staples are convenience goods consumer purchase on a regular basis. For example, a buyer might routinely purchase Heinz ketchup, oral B toothpaste, etc. While in impulse goods, they are purchased without any planning or search efforts like chocolates and magazines and toffees, etc. etc. The third is the emergency goods, they are purchased when a need is urgent. So, manufacturers of impulse and emergency goods will place them where consumers are likely to experience and urge or compelling need to purchase those products. So, in both these cases, the purchase is not planned, it is at, at the spur of the moment. Another categorization is the, is the shopping products. Shopping products are items for which the consumers compares several alternatives on criteria such as price, quality, suitability or style. For example, clothing, furniture and major appliances. Now, in this we have two, uh, two further categorization. One is homogeneous shopping goods. They are similar in quality but different enough in price to justify shopping comparison. So, they, this homogeneous shopping goods, they are similar in quality but they, are, they have different prices. So, because of that, a comparison has to be carried out. Another type of shopping goods are heterogeneous shopping go goods. They differ in product features and services that may be more important than price. So, now the shopping goods are heterogeneous, heterogeneous on the basis of product features and services. So, that is why and in that case, in this case, the prices are not important. The sellers of heterogeneous shopping goods carries a wide assortment to satisfy individual taste and train salespeople to inform and advise customers about which shopping good will be more suitable for their uh, needs and wants. Another type of consumer product is the speciality products. They are items that the consumers make a special effort to search out and buy. These are speciality as the name suggests. They, uh, they, they require some more amount of time uh, and money in making decision. For example, cars and audio visual component etc. Speciality goods have unique characteristics or brand identification for which enough buyers are willing to make a special purchasing effort. A Mercedes is, is an example of a speciality good because interested buyers will travel far to buy one of, of, of Mercedes. Speciality goods 
डोंट रिक्वायर कंपेरिजन बायर इन्वेस्ट टाइम ओनली टू रीच द डीलर कैरिंग द वॉन्टेड प्रोडक्ट्स अनदर टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स आर कॉल्ड एज अनसॉट प्रोडक्ट्स दे आर आइटम्स दैट द कंज्यूमर डज नॉट नो अबाउट और नोज अबाउट बट डज नॉट इनिशियली वॉन्ट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ अनसॉट प्रोडक्ट्स इंक्लूड लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एंड स्मोक डिटेक्टर्स एंड ग्रेव स्टोन्स अनसॉट गुड्स रिक्वायर एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड पर्सनल सेलिंग सपोर्ट Now, this classification of a consumer product significantly affects which products consumers buy and what marketing strategies would be used. Each type of consumer product stresses different marketing mix, actions, degrees of brand loyalty, and shopping efforts. But how a consumer product is classified depends on the individual. One woman may view a mobile phone as a shopping product and visit several stores before deciding. where as her friend may view a phone as a specialty product and make a special effort to buy only a oneplus phone now this the, uh, this uh, picture shows the various types of consumer uh, products that is the convenience and the shopping and specialty and unsought products and then on uh, on the left hand side we have the various basis of comparison for example product price place promotion brand loyalty of consumers and purchase behavior of consumers so let us uh, look at one comparison that is the product so in convenience product uh, the convenience products include toothpaste and cake cake mixes and hand uh, soaps atm withdrawals while unsought products are burial insurance and thesaurus now let us look at how does this Uh, brand loyalty of consumers look uh, looks like in convenience product so in this case they may be aware of brand but will uh, will accept substitutes while in shopping product is, uh, they prefer specific brands well but will accept substitutes in specialty products very they are very brand loyal and will not accept substitutes and in unsought uh, products they will accept substitutes Now let us look at this classification of business product a major characteristics of business product is that their sales are often the results of a derived demand that is sales of business products frequently result or are derived from the sales of consumer products for example as consumer demand for ford cars a consumer product increases the company may increase its demand for paint spraying equipment that is a business product so business products are also terms termed as industrial goods now business products are classified in terms of relative cost and the way they enter the production process these products may be classified as one components that is material and parts and second is support products which could further be classified into capital items and supplies and business services now let let us look at each one of them so what are what are components or material and parts materials and parts are goods that enter the manufacturing product completely now they fall in two classes raw materials and manufactured materials and parts raw material in turn fall into two categories farm products such as wheat cotton livestock fruits and vegetables while there are natural products such as fish lumber crude petroleum etc so and this manufactured material then part fall into two category one is component material for example iron yarn cement and wires the standardized nature of component material usually makes price and supplies reliability key purchase factors the second type is the component parts for example small motors tires castings so component parts enter the finished products with no further change in form most manufactured material and parts are sold directly to industrial users price and service are major marketing consideration while branding and advertising are less important the supports in uh, another type of uh, product is the support uh, support products these are items used to assist in producing other products and services so the first of the, that is the capital items they are long lasting goods that facilitate developing or managing the finished products and they fall into two groups 
one is installations and another is equipment installations consist of buildings for example factories and offices and heavy equipment for example generators and drill presses mainframe computers elevators etc installations are major purchases they are usually bought directly from the producer who say, uh, whose sales force include technical staff and the long negotiation precedes the typical sales producers must be willing to design to specifications and to supply post sale services advertising is much less important than personal selling now equipment includes portable factory equipments and tools hand tools lift trucks and office equipments desktop computers desks and chairs etc these types of equipment don't become part of a finished product they have a shorter life than installations but a longer life than operating supplies now let us look at equipment although some equipment manufacturers sell directly more often they use intermediaries because the market is geographically dispersed buyers are numerous and orders are small quality features price and services are some major consideration the sales force tends to be more important than advertising although advertising although advertising can also be used effectively the supplies and business services are short term goods and services that facilitate developing or managing the finished products now supplies are of two types maintenance and repair items for example paints nail broom etc and operating supplies like lubricants coal writing paper pencil and together they go under the name of mro goods maintenance and repair operating supplies goods supplies are the equivalent of consumer goods they are usually purchased with minimum effort on a straight rebuy basis so we have talked about the various types of uh, buying uh, uh, situations earlier in one of those modules they are normally marketed through intermediaries because of their low unit value and great number and geographic dispersion of customers price and services are important considerations because supplies are standardized and brand preference is often not high business services include maintenance and repair services for example window cleaning copier repair these are usually supplied under contract by small producers or from the manufacturers of the original equipment business advisory services for example legal services management consultancies and advertising these services are usually purchased on the basis of the supplier's reputation and staff now let us classify services services can be classified according to whether they are delivered by people or equipment so there are services that are delivered by people or equipment then business firms or non profit organizations or the third is the government agencies organization in each of these categories often use significantly different kinds of marketing mix strategies to promote their services now these are the various types of services these are equipment based and these are people based equipment based uh, include automated that is self service then operated by a relatively unskilled operators and then operated by skilled operators while people based can be unskilled labor skilled labor and professionals and examples are given here now let us look at when the delivery of a service is by people or equipment so people based professional services include those offered by advertising agencies or medical doctors urban company earlier known as urban clap utilizes skilled labor to offer appliances and electronic repair cleaning salon services salon services at home the quality of these people based services can vary significantly depending on the abilities of the person delivering the service then there are some equipment based services that do not have the market uh, marketing concern of inconsistent quality because the employees do not have direct contact when providing the services to the consumers instead consumers receive these automated services without interacting with any service employee such as doing self check in at airlines at airports watching a movie at a local theater or using carvis online stock trading platform now another classification is when the delivery is by business firms or non profit organizations now as discussed in one of the earlier modules privately owned firms must 
मेक प्रॉफिट टू सर्वाइव ऑन द अदर हैंड नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सीक्स टू सेटिस्फाई क्लाइंट्स एंड बी अफिशियंट द काइंड ऑफ सर्विस ईच ऑफर अफेक्ट देयर मार्केटिंग एक्टिविटीज रिसेंटली मैनी नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सच एज द रेड क्रॉस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैव यूज मार्केटिंग टू इम्प्रूव देयर कम्युनिकेशन एंड बेटर सर्व दो इन नीड डिलीवरी बाय गवर्नमेंट एजेंसीज लाइक द सेंट्रल स्टेट और द लोकल लेवल दे प्रोवाइड अ ब्रॉड रेंज ऑफ सर्विसेज दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑल्सो हैव अडॉप्टेड मेनी मार्केटिंग प्रैक्टिस यूज बाय बिजनेस फॉर्म्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एल आई सी जिंदगी के साथ भी जिंदगी के बाद भी मार्केटिंग कैंपेन वॉज डिजाइन टू अलाउ इट टू कम्पीट बेटर विद प्राइवेट इंश्योरेंस प्रोवाइडर्स टू कंक्लूड वी हैड स्टार्टेड दिस मॉड्यूल बाय इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज एंड डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टर्म्स परटेनिंग टू दैम नेक्स्ट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट फाइव प्रोडक्ट लेवल्स एंड हाउ दीज टूगेदर कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ कस्टमर वैल्यू हैरार की द डिस्कशन देन मूवड टू क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स एंड बिजनेस प्रोडक्ट्स वेयर वी स्टडीड डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स एंड बिजनेस प्रोडक्ट्स एंड देन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स दैट कैन बी कैटेगराइज इन टू फोर ग्रुप्स दैट इज कन्वीनियंस प्रोडक्ट्स शॉपिंग प्रोडक्ट्स स्पेशलिटी प्रोडक्ट्स एंड अनथॉट गुड्स नो बिजनेस प्रोडक्ट्स आर फर्दर कैटेगराइज इन टू टू ग्रुप्स नेमली द कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड सपोर्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स एंड फाइनली वी हैड फोकस्ड ऑन टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सर्विसेज on the basis of whether it is delivered by either people or equipment or whether it is delivered by business firms or non government organizations or government agencies these are the three books from which the material for this module was taken thank you